Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about DuckTales. Uh, what oh Instead of, uh oh boo-hoo? Yeah, DuckTales boo-hoo. There we go. DuckTales okay. boo-hoo. Boo uh, yeah, it sounds like the 2017 reboot of DuckTales is probably canceled. I don't understand this because it was very popular. It's also very expensive. Is that really? Is that what you think it is? I, I think so. Because I, it, well, some of the voice actors I know are too. Yeah, but. yeah. So we're going to talk about uh, the rumors again. Nothing's been confirmed by Disney, but nothing has been denied by Disney or people associated with the show. But it does seem like season three of Ducktales is going to be the last season of Ducktales at this point. Uh, before we get into it. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We do talk about the animation industry quite a bit. Yep. Uh, we talk about Disney quite a bit. Yep. Uh, we talk about anime, comic books, whatever interests us that day. And uh, check out our merch over at shopclownfish.com. We don't have a Patreon or anything like that. So uh, this is the best way to support us. We do have a pre-order for our new pin set. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get the Geeky and Neon pins. Uh, she's got her... Her battle brush. That's right. And I've got my big pencil. And uh, what's stabby stabby? Stabby stabby action. Mm -hmm. Big pencil with stabby stabby action. Mine's but, a calming. Mine, mine is calming. It's a brushing. You calm I, them before I stab them. Is I that guess. How that no, works? But here's the funny thing. It's just hilarious that the two I have the calming item and you have the stabby stabby one. It is because in real life it's actually flip flopped. Well, at a least bit. at least on on the show it's flip flopped. Yeah. So there we go. Um also we've got some holiday merch. Oh, they had t-shirts you said. Yeah, yeah, they did. Look at that. Uh clownfish ugly sweater shirts. We've got happy fist of this in honor of Fisto. Um this is You can fist them all with clownfish. You can fist them all. So if you want to celebrate the holidays with Fisto, you can do that. Shopclownfish.com. Link is in the description, but you're here for DuckTales. So let's talk Boo about uh DuckTales Boohoo. Yeah, so the rumor is DuckTales has been canceled by Disney XD. Season 3 is said to be the last. This is coming from Drew Taylor, uh, an associate editor for Collider. He put this out on Twitter because people have been asking uh, the folks associated with the show whether or not there was going to be more DuckTales. Mm -hmm. And th nobody's getting an answer. Right. And that's usually not a good sign. No. Uh, that's it's like, not... where's, where's High Guardian Spice? Right, and there's no answer because when you sign the paperwork for these studios, it usually has a clause in there as part of the NDA that you're not allowed to talk about jack shit until they give you the green mm -hmm. green light to do it. So that's probably what's going on. Anyway, this is coming from Drew Taylor. This is kind of what got the ball rolling. I love seeing the renewed DuckTales 2017 hashtag, but regretfully inform you, the show is very much done and has been done for a little while now. Not sure why Disney Channel has yet to announce this, but it is the truth. I can't think that he would go out there and say this on Twitter if he didn't completely believe that it was the case. Yeah, I mean, he's probably having you know drinks with people working on the show. It wouldn't be like allegedly, possibly, maybe. He's like, flat out, it's done. Yeah, yeah. Um, when pressed as to how he knew DuckTales Season 3 would be the end of the series, Taylor said most of the crew have already moved on. Oh, wait, but you're not allowed to say that. As we learned, because we you said about She-Ra that you didn't think that you thought they were ending it because the crew was already, everybody was moved on to other projects. And they did end it. It was already wrapped up. They just hadn't announced the other season. When you figure that the seasons for them were like a few episodes, uh, they were just like, they hadn't announced it yet. But it was already completely done. So we were right in the fact that it was wrapped up and finished. They just hadn't put it all out yet. So, um, you know, if everybody's moved on to the projects, that usually indicates... It's done. That's the case. Um, so, you know, those people who were yelling and reeing about that, oh, uh, we were still right. So, mm. Yeah, anyway. Shiro was dumb. When we said Shiro was canceled, it, at that point, they had already wrapped up season five. And it does take sometimes a year for episodes to get through the pipeline. By right. the time they storyboard them, write them, get the go-ahead, it, it, it was wrapped up. It was done. Uh, and so is DuckTales, apparently. So Drew Taylor says to Score Bunny Dream, how do you know season three is the final one? He says, because the offices haven't been open for a while now. Somebody told me when they closed up shop and most of the key creative talents have moved on to other equally exciting projects. Um, Darkwing Duck? Possibly. I don't know. We, we'll have to ask because Darkwing Duck is in DuckTales, uh, albeit a very altered version of, of Darkwing Duck. Mm -hmm. But the Darkwing Duck show is supposedly going to be headed up by Seth Rogen. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know if it's a continuation of this version of DuckTales or if it's a completely different thing. 
um, you know, watch it, watch it be like a, a really bad parody of, of Darkwing Duck, which was a parody of Batman. Right. Go, go figure. There's a way to ruin it. Trust me, they'll find it. Uh, so I poked around and I tried to see what was going on here. So Frank Angones, I uh, hope, I, hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He is a producer on DuckTales and he's being very silent on the topic of DuckTales' rumored demise. Instead, he's promoting a charity auction. Now, he was directly asked a couple of days ago as to whether or not there would be a season four and he didn't answer any of these tweets. He answered tweets in that thread. But he didn't answer any of those tweets. Right. It wasn't That's even a little weird. Yeah, it wasn't even like, gee, I sure hope we get a season four, but I don't know yet. Well, it also could be, I mean, there is the possibility, even though I think it's actually pretty slim, is that they are doing something special and he's not allowed to talk about it. But the fact that he wouldn't answer any of them. I, I do think that's a little weird. He couldn't even say, hey, there's more news to come. He literally answered like everybody else, but he didn't answer. You actually went through and looked at all yeah, I looked replies at the replies to yeah. write this article on our, by, by, give me the minute to plug it, on our sister Disney site, piratesandprincesses.net. Yeah, there we go. Piratesandprincesses.net uh, is not bought off by Disney or travel agents or anyone with a vested. No, I call out shit all the time. Yes, yeah, so Tiki <laughs> does. Um, so, yeah, earlier this year, there was a hiatus in May. Um, due to the pandemic. Due yeah. to the pandemic. Now, here's where it gets interesting, though, because there's been a lot of talk about all these animated series continuing despite the pandemic because you can work on animation from home. Mm -hmm. uh, you can work on animation remotely, and a lot of the animation is actually sent overseas anyway. Right. So having a shutdown in California really shouldn't affect production all that much. But, you know, what would affect production is Disney running out of money mm -hmm. and these shows costing between a half a million and a million dollars an episode. Right. That would absolutely, and it might even be more than that, because the animation on DuckTales is actually very good. And it, it is, I'm sure, at the higher end of, of Western, uh, you know, expenses. And I would say, well, maybe people moved on to other things temporarily because they had to have jobs going on. But like you said, it could be done during the, the closure. And people wouldn't be taking other gigs that would be long-term gigs, I wouldn't think, if they thought they still had to finish up this one. Yeah, they would They would leave it open. And that's, again, that's how we knew Shira was wrapping up. Uh, because at that point, you had people that worked on the show. I mean, months before season five was announced, saying, hey, I'm done. I need work. You know, and this happened with High Guardian Spice, too. Uh, High Guardian Spice is, is still MIA. And we had the production team being like, hey, we're done. Mm -hmm. You know, I need more work. So when people are out there asking for work, we don't know what's going on. Now, I don't know if Frank is involved in Darkwing Duck or not. Again, Seth Rogen seems to be running this one. It might be a completely different thing. Oh, I, I have no idea. I guarantee you it's going to be. We can make some phone calls and find out pretty damn quick, probably. Uh, you might, should do that. Might do that to find out what's going on with the Darkwing Duck show. But still, it's it's kind of a weird uh, situation here. But yeah, he said back in May when they put the show in hiatus, we're still able to work on episodes and keep moving forward. The various adjustments required by the global pandemic across multiple studios have meant that things are going to take a little longer to make sure we can maintain the quality of the show. But Disney is, again... You know, pointed out they're cash strapped. Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. And what's weird about Disney Plus, because that's what they're they're banking on, all the other streaming services are focused on animation. Mm -hmm. They all want to do animated series because you can work on it during the pandemic and there's a demand for it. Disney Plus does not seem all that interested in animation. No, to be they honest. keep doing live action adaptations of everything. Because it's cheap. And but they're Disney. They should be leading the way in animation. That's what's so weird about this, because yeah, in you know bizarro world, Disney would Disney Plus would be the place to go for animation, and actually, it looks like Netflix and HBO Max are both taking the lead mm -hmm. when it comes to animation, because they're announcing all kinds of animated stuff, you know, projects, and and Netflix is talking they're going to do six movies a year. They're actually you know bringing Disney former Disney talent into mm -hmm. it. It could be that uh, the Ducktales team is actually moving on to a Netflix or HBO project. You know, because it doesn't, doesn't seem like Disney's all that interested. Um, but yeah, DuckTales is incredibly expensive. Now, WDW News Today speculated that the show's cancellation, if it's canceled, might lead to a cancellation of the New World Showcase that, adventure. That, you know, I didn't think about that. But yeah, they, were, they had a big announcement how they were doing this thing with DuckTales. It was like the Perry the Platypus one they used to do. And then they had the Kim Possible one before that. Mm -hmm. They were doing something like that with it. Um, and they announced they were going to be doing this. So yeah, it... it it, that actually is a good point. I never would have thought of, but you know, it could impact that because 
But then I couldn't because I kept running Perry the Platypus for years after they ended, you know, Phineas and Ferb. So who the hell knows? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Actually, that came at the either the tail end or after the show was already done, Phineas mm-hmm. and Ferb. But now this, this doesn't mean that they won't go back to the well because, again, speaking of Phineas and Ferb, they just did a new movie. Right. Years it's after the fact. Still demand for it. Our kids love Phineas and Ferb. And DuckTales, they had a DuckTales movie back in the day. Mm-hmm. So even if they wrap DuckTales, the show up, it's very possible that a couple years down the road they could have a DuckTales movie or yeah. a revival oh, or something. there's a way to milk it. They'll find a way to milk it. You can milk anything. Just ask Disney. Can you milk a duck? Disney they, found a way. They don't have nipples. Doesn't matter. Disney will find a way to squeeze the milk out of that thing anyway. Well, ducks have, they have one hole for everything. Well, So then, apparently that, that hole can also be used for milking a duck. A, a, yes. If, it's, if it left in Disney's hands, they can, they'll find a way. And if there's no holes, they'll still get milk out of it. The golden, they'll, they'll drill a hole and they, make sure. They will out. drill a hole. They'll, they'll drill, they'll drill a, a Disney Plus hole and make sure that the milk comes out of it. Uh, so, yeah. But there, again, we know Darkwing Duck is coming in some form. Don't know exactly what to expect. Uh, probably with Seth Rogen involved. Going to be very, very different from the original. <sighs> Just, no. I, I don't know. Have they not learned anything? No, they haven't. Obviously. Disney, look. Every time we turn around, we're like, okay, this is going to be the disaster that causes Disney to stop and think like, hey guys, we've got to make money. We can't do X, Y, Z thing. Oh, hell no. They're like, no, let's do more of this because eventually it's going to stick. Doesn't. You know, the, the definition of insanity is doing right, the same right. thing over and over Just again. And cut expecting, your losses and yeah. listen to the fans. Listen to the fans. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, it might be okay. Who knows? Who knows? But there you go, guys. It does not look good for Scrooge McDuck. Um, and I'm, I'm sad about that. I think DuckTales was actually pretty good. Right. And I want to point out, because he won't do it, is that Neon has a special place in his heart for, you know, Darkwing Duck and, and Scrooge McDuck and so on. Because he used to work on the Duck Comics. I Yeah, I worked on Duck Comics for a variety of licensed Disney publishers for a damn long time. Uh, in fact, the last the last project I did, I got to re-ink and recolor a lot of Don Rosa's mm-hmm. stuff, which they've actually cherry-picked some of Don Rosa's uh, story elements for the new DuckTales show. And I, I, Don Rosa probably would not approve because he's he's very much a, a Carl Barks purist. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, yeah, so I'm, I'm very fond of Scrooge McDuck. Always thought, you know, if the money was there, that I'd love to do Scrooge McDuck stories. Yeah, obviously the money was there. The money's not there. So Scrooge McDuck would not approve of the comic book industry because there is no money. That's right. Uh, to be made. So, you know, he's not going to waste his time. No. So why should I? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? All right, so we're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.